Hello and welcome to another TRC Shaving Chat. My name is Jack, your host today, and I am bringing you a shaving soap set from Loafer Grooming, and that is Orange. Um, Orange is an exclusive at the Razor Company. How would I describe the scent though? I would think of that, it, its most prominent scent notes, to me anyway, are mint, like in a very deep, aromatic mint and bergamot which is very citrusy very zingy citrus and that's coupled with like this interesting pink pepper note that to me pink peppers like, almost a bit herbal um a bit herbal a bit almost like rosy in character so you've got like this big mint top with a base of like big zingy citrus and a nice herbal, herbaceous or herbal spicy note. Very, very enjoyable. Uh, Loafer Grooming obviously, or maybe not so obviously, out of uh, Leeds in the United Kingdom. Uh, very, very good company. Once again, an exclusive at the Razor Company. Um, what else am I using today? So I'm gonna be using, uh, as you can see, I do have the, the soap lathered already, or at the very least loaded. Um, this is a Wald, Wald, because they're a German company, A1. Uh, absolutely tremendous brush, like fantastic brush. My, fa my favorite brush I own. And then the razor of choice today is going to be the um, Ellsworth Dracant. This is in titanium. And the blade inside here, if I remember, is a third use Gillette NASA. This being the third use, so. I'll probably toss it away after this, but let's get to lathering. And uh, I could talk to you a bit about the the soap base in general and uh, why I think this is just a good offering all around. The, the, the funny thing about Love with Soap Base is when it first came out, I was very much of the opinion that it would be quite difficult for Johnny to top. And there have been iterations iterations of that soap base since then and quite frankly um, he did top it so he made me eat my words so to speak uh, I, I think as far as like a soap base goes I think this has a really really stellar balance of both it gives you it rewards you for your time and what what do I mean by that I predominantly mean you could pile it with water and stay here for a while to create like, not so much a voluminous lather, but incredibly dense Cool Whip-esque lather. Or you could choose to go the quicker route and not create this big Cool Whip-esque lather. Instead, just take a less time to make a perfectly adequate shaving lather and I found with a lot of artisan soaps they struggle with that in between that in between being you know if you don't want to be here for ages lathering this thing up and you just want like a usable shaving lather you can get that this on the other hand does not struggle with that at all And generally the way I like to approach it, it depends on my mood. If I have more time, then I'll work it. If I don't, then, then I won't. Okay, we're just building the lather here. I think that looks pretty good. I, I am gonna kind of draw some lines here. And uh, we don't wanna waste any lather. I've worked on building that up, so I don't see the point of uh, running it down the drain. Forgive the, uh, the tap running down there, but it is called wet shaving for, for a reason. <laughs> it requires water. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. Really nice texture. Didn't take too long really at all to create this. And that's what I like about this. Don't get me wrong, I think the a synthetic brush makes a huge difference in terms of flatability. 
And I say that regularly to beginners or traditional wet shaving. If you're struggling to create consistent lathers, dial in that lathering technique with a synth and then kind of let that progress to a natural hairbrush like a boar or a badger. I feel you can find your feet much easier with a synthetic brush, generally because they don't have as much, in my experience, variance when it comes to how they lather. They're, they all pretty much work the same, it's kind of plug and play. I found with natural hair brushes, depending on the type of badger hair they're using or the quality of the badger hair they're using, the density of the knot, that lathering experience with that specific brush changes drastically from brush to brush. So I would absolutely say, uh, if you are a beginner, give a scent a try. In fact, I always kind of recommend people use scents out the gate anyway. They're generally cheaper. You don't need as much buy-in. And uh, there's a ton of very good synthetics that are readily available at a really good price. Yeah. I'd say the lathers really come together now. You can see how kind of dense that is. Once I hit it against my face, I think we're in a good spot. I am gonna add a little bit more water to it because why not? <laughs> why not? That scent strength is very good. Kind of really pushing off the face. I'd say it's a good, if 10 is like insanely strong, and to be honest, 10 for me is a bit in intolerable. It's just a bit too strong, it gives me a headache. If 10 is that, and unscented is zero. This is a good seven or eight, it's quite strong. Um, and I found most of the, the TRC collabs with Lofa, there's been black, white, red, blue, and this one orange. There might be another one I'm missing. Forgive me, but yeah, I think we're in a good spot here. We can uh, start the first pass. So the way I shave is I shave in a very I don't do it with the grain pass because I, I tend to use razors that favor very tight blade control. And what do I mean by that specifically? If I use a D razor, I use a lot of straight razors as well, but if I use a D razor, it's important for me that that razor design allows that blade to be clamped. Um, very, very tightly because when a, when a, I mean, personally anyway, from my experience, from a, from a shaver's perspective, I notice when a razor doesn't have the best blade clamping, it just feels like it's skipping or jumping across my skin. And I personally really dislike that. Um, user, like user experience. But what I would say is this feels very similar to the stainless steel version with just a bit, a bit more reduced weight. I tend to like aluminum razors as well. Um, so this, this works very well for me. It kind of has the similar user experience to the Trocamp stainless steel, which was a phenomenal razor. With a reduced weight. Absolutely no dramas, the soap base doing a tremendous job. Now for me, the thing that really sets this soap base apart, and this is something not everyone cares about, but if you have like sensitive skin, which I have sensitive skin, but my skin is naturally quite oily. Um, if you have skin that's dry, You'll notice something that's very important for you is the post shave fill. Because you, you can't have a sub drying out your skin, you know, that's that's a no-go for someone with dry skin. Getting soap everywhere here. May as well have a shower at this rate. But yeah. Um dry skin is a no-go when it comes to drying soap. You can see how hydrated that is on the brush. Yeah, look at that. Very, very nice. And it didn't take me any time really to whip that up. Super quick, super easy, very easy to use soap base. Like I said, it has a very wide water band. You don't need to be 
really conscious about the amount of water you're adding. There have been times where I've added too much water up front, and although it might seem like it's, you know, not come together because you did that, it will come together in the end, because it can handle that. And for me, that's that's what I like for with the soap. Something else I like with the soap is, it doesn't need that, you know? If I'm in a rush to get out of the house, I don't want to be lathering here for 10 minutes, and this, this soap base gives me those sorts of options. Against the grain here. Very light touch. Helps with the razor of this weight. My hair growth, if I was to shave against the grain, as you can see, it's this way. And on this side, it's this way. So I need to kind of do a crisscross sort of thing. Yeah, you can see this blade is certainly coming to the end of its life. They do that. Good thing they want five dollars a piece. <laughs> you know. That would suck. Three uses for five dollars. Although to be honest, cartridge blades don't last that much longer, like optimum performance. Very nice. Razor has a super delicate face feel. And there's a absolute heap of residual slickness. It's supplied by this soap here. Bit of a feel around here. Still insanely slick on the skin. So I don't need to relather. Perfect. Let's uh, rinse the face with some cold water and we can apply our poche product. Or because I'm in Southern California, some lukewarm water. <laughs> uh, the, the water I get out of my tap is like, I definitely wouldn't describe it as cold. If I had a cold water in a restaurant, you bought me that, I'd be like, that's definitely not cold water, man. Very nice, okay, let me get a towel, I'll be back. Lancaster towel, always. I found this on the web. Thanks, Siri. The funny thing actually is I just said Lancaster towel and Siri picked up um, Lancaster Razor Works, which is pretty fantastic. Good SEO there, Andre, okay. Um, Loaf of Orange Aftershave Splash. There's been two versions of the Loaf of Splash. I personally prefer the first one. Uh, the first one is alcohol free, which is kind of more leaning to my preference. This has got alcohol in it, but it's still skin soothing, which is obviously a good thing. I found this on the web. Do you mind? That's a, that's a great shave. But yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Um, products I used today, let's go over those and I'll let you guys go. So, soap and splash of choice was loafer orange. Very, very good. Scent strength is, I'd say, on the higher end. If you're sensitive to kind of stronger scents, be aware of that. If you're not and you love that, that is definitely your thing. Mint, pink pepper, and bergamot are the predominant scent notes in my opinion at the very least that's what comes out in the soap the splash soap and splash kind of negligible difference they're pretty much the same um brush of choice was the vol shaving a1 out of germany and my razor of choice today was a from ellsworth razors this is the trikant in titanium hope you guys have enjoyed the video today remember if you are interested in that soap that is an exclusive trc apart from that my name is jack Catch you guys next time.